Hello everyone. Welcome. This is Dina and today is the 30th of April. It is the day before Stitch Mania. I am so excited. I can hardly wait. So last night I looked at my first start. My first start is going to be the Partridge in a Pear Tree of this hands-on design series of the 12 days. And um, I just want to thank Kathy for her thoughtfulness. Inside, there is a little um, note that says, if you're stitching this series, here's some notes for you. One of them was, if you had a fat half of linen, you could cut it in nine by nine pieces, and that would give you exactly what you needed for each of the 12 designs. And I took my piece of fabric and measured it, and it was a fat half. And so last night, I took the time to cut all 12 of these out, nine by nine squares, zigzag the edges all around. I also bagged all of my floss. They were just, you know, newly purchased floss when I kitted this. So they were just in my bag. So I put them in their uh, little baggies so that I could put remnants of threads back in there. And I used my little um, punch and got me a tag label here. I've got a Christmas paper because this is a Christmas project and I've labeled it 12 days by hands-on design. Should these get separated with all the mania craziness, I'll know where this goes if I have it, you know, out by itself. So now that one is ready. I'm excited, I'm ready to go on that. I'm not the only one starting this one tomorrow. I am being joined by Janet on Instagram. It's Janet7435. Uh, and she and I talked and she recommended we get a hashtag together. And so we came up with hashtag Mania Buddies 2019. And so Janet and I will be using that and I'll be using that with other people who are gonna be starting things with me. So right now I know that um, Stitch Witch Hazel is gonna be starting Count Twice Stitch Once with me and then she's gonna start my last one with me as well. And um, Donna uh, McKinney is going to start Pumpkin Spice with me on the 9th. And Connie G is going to start Needle's Eye with me. And Gloria Fagan is going to join me on my last one on the Broderie à Paris with uh, myself and Stitch Witch Hazel. So all of us are going to use a hashtag to post our progress on all the things we're stitching at that we're starting at the same time together. I encourage any of you to follow it. Uh, feel free to post with it uh, to let us see your mania progress as well, especially if you're stitching on one of the uh, 11 new starts that I'm doing or someone by that designer. We'd love to see it. And so um, again, hashtag mania buddies 2019. And I'll put it in the drop down uh, box just as a reminder. So after doing that last night, um, I realized I probably need to run through the rest of my mania um, bagged items, you know, that are already kitted up and just see if there's any more fabric I need to finish the edges or anything that I need to pull together. Um, just so that when I get ready to start that day, it's easy, you know, easy to do. My plans for filming are to come in and show you my progress every other day because I am starting something every other day for the uh, first uh, 22 days of May. There's 11 new starts, two days each. Then I'll go into my uh, remaining whips and they'll get a day each um, because there are actually seven of them now. Uh, but if I put my uh, chatelaine in, then that'll make eight, and that should take us up to the 30th. So the last day will be a wrap up probably, and um, we'll go from there. So what am I gonna do the rest of today? Well, I thought about it. I thought I could work on something. I can't start Magical Stitches homework yet until tomorrow for the extra credit. So I thought, well, it's a perfect day to try to finish my crochet blanket. So Elaine, I'm excited. I only have two more times around, I think, and it'll be 36 inches square, but this is my blanket. I love how this uh, yarn is 
striping or uh, variegating, self variegating. I think it's lovely. I love the colors in it. I had a lot of compliments on it at the last uh, Naughty Knitters get together. And I, my goal is to get around it two more times today so that I'm ready to have another training session with Elaine and she can show me how to do those scalloped edges uh, to finish it off. So I wanted to share that with you because I haven't shown you my blanket in a while and I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled with how it's coming, how much I've enjoyed this one. Um, so that's been fun. So at least I'll have a blanket to donate this year, at least one. <laughs> that was a big goal I had to learn to crochet and donate a blanket. So I'll be trying to finish that today so that when tomorrow hits, it will be nothing but mania. <laughs> I'm gonna try to bring um, a little bit more frequent videos this month so that they're shorter because you'll have a lot of videos popping up with mania progress. Some people are gonna vlog every day and put something out every day. So you'll have a lot more hitting your uh, to be watch list. And so I think I'm gonna try to just do really short videos about every um, week or, um, you know, nine to 10 days or something, uh, as soon as I have enough to share with you, uh, because that way you can watch it kind of quickly and um, continue on with your stitching. I'm gonna let you get back to what you were doing. I'm going to try to finish this blanket and then tomorrow we start mania. Happy May, you guys. If you're in mania, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you get to do everything you've envisioned and everything you've planned, and maybe even some you haven't. And if you're not doing mania, I hope you enjoy watching those of us going crazy that do. And I hope that if you've come up with a different plan for whatever you've decided to do for May, uh, that it's very rewarding to you and that you enjoy it. Because it's all about loving what we do. So, happy stitching, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello. Happy Mania. Today is May 1st. And I started my first start of Mania this morning, and it was Partridge in a Pear Tree from Hands On Design, part of the 12 Days uh, group. And I am excited to tell you I have a finish. <laughs> I think it's beautiful, and I'm really, really pleased with it on this fabric. So rich, lovely. Anyway, now I've got to go count these stitches up because I've got to post this for the Quidditch match. And then I have to decide what I'm going to do next. I don't really want to pull my next Mania start out because I have them set for days and other people are joining me. Um, so it may be time just to work on, you know, a whip and just get uh, more stitches in for the Magical Stitches Quidditch game. But... I am thrilled. This is a great way to start Mania, a finish. I will um, come back in a day or two <laughs> and let you know what I was stitching on in the meantime. I hope you've gotten off to a great start. Happy Mania, everyone. Happy stitching. Hello everyone, happy mania to you. My name is Dina and I am vlogging in my pretty much normal style. I usually uh, videotape a little segment after I stitch on each of my pieces for their rotation. But right now I'm in stitch mania and I had um, a new start that was scheduled to begin um, today and instead I actually started it on the first. <laughs> um, you've already seen the clip before this one where I finished my ornament from hands-on design on the first. So I turned those points in to the School of Magical Stitches for our Quidditch game and I decided since I was trying to make stitches for the Quidditch game and we only had through the third to to count those points, that I would go ahead and pull my next 
Mania start. So my next start was spring delivery. And this pattern was gifted to me by my friend Vonna. She stitched it about a year ago, maybe two now. Um, but when she finished it, she just sent me a picture and said, would you like to stitch this? And I said, yes. So I've had it in my stash waiting for the perfect opportunity. And at the beginning of this year, when I highlighted my new starts that I was gonna do for 2019, I had picked one start per month, and this was the start I had picked for May. I had also decided I was gonna stitch on this for the Stitch From Stash Sal for May Flower Sal, which is the whole month of May. And I thought those flowers would suffice just fine for a May Flowers Sal. So it was my May start, and it was gonna be part of that sal. Well, I stitched on it starting on the first. I only got a little bit of work on it done on the first because it took most of the day for me to finish that tree ornament. But then I hit it yesterday. I had, um, in the morning, I, I go to a ladies' Bible study at my church, and afterwards, uh, we usually have lunch. So I didn't get to start on this until after lunch yesterday, um, after getting a kind of a meager start um, on the first day. So I've been working on it really hard today, and it is now about nine something, um, nine eighteen, on the third, and I've just posted my stitches for the Quidditch game, and I counted them up every single stitch, one by one, two thousand seven hundred and ninety-one. But I have my second mania start and finish. <laughs> This is my spring delivery. Isn't that beautiful? I made a couple of changes on it from what the pattern called for. It called for a um, color for the eye that was Wood Trail, and it's a uh, Georgia Shaker. And I had purchased that floss to use with this pattern, and then I realized it was one stitch, the little eyeball. That was it, the iris of the eyeball. And I already had my molasses from Weeks Dye Works sitting on my table from just where I had used it uh, in, in a previous uh, piece earlier in the week. So I decided I wasn't opening up a brand new skein of a, of a hand-dyed floss for one stitch. One stitch. <laughs> so I just used molasses for that brown eye. But have you, can you tell that the bunny rabbit's tail is fluffy? I used whisper thread. I think it looks great. <laughs> I just love it. So that was the other change I made. Instead of the uh, oatmeal, which it had called for, for the rabbit's tail, I did the white whisper. And I just think it's, it's just adorable. You wouldn't think that this would take you very long but it took me 18 hours in three days to stitch this. So I've been stitching hard, trying to get those points for Hufflepuff. Come on, you guys, let's get them. <laughs> I don't even know how we're in the standings right now because I, I don't know how to get to that spreadsheet unless somebody links it, you know, right in the in the thread. And so, <laughs> so I don't get to see that often. But anyway, this is my finish and I'm very, very tickled. And if you haven't seen Vonna's latest video, she has put out a very generous gift. She is going to pick names from her commenters uh, for this month. Um, and she's, I think she's gonna pick one or two, I'm not sure how many, but she's gonna do free finishing for them. So I put a comment on her video saying that if I was lucky enough to be one of the names chosen at random, this would be the piece that I would want her to finish for me. Because I know she's finished it for herself and it was beautiful. And um, I would like this either in a flat fold or a pillow. And yes, I can do either one of those, but I don't do it as well as Vanna. And so um, if I'm ever by chance lucky enough to be selected, this is the one I would have her work on for me. 
Now, I just want to celebrate Mania with you guys. I just think it. this has been the best Mania year for me. I've been more excited about it than I ever have in the past. And I think, I've been trying to figure out why that is. I think it's because I'm not so afraid to have a larger number of whips going. And I think that's because of the School of Magical Stitches, because you have more opportunity to pick homework um, on a whip that you're working on if you have a few more than, you know, I've been carrying about eight, and now um, if you count my Chatelaine, I have eight. And I haven't been counting it in my rotation yet, uh, but it very well may have to come in it. But to celebrate, uh, how well Mania is going for me, and I hope for you too, and how much fun this is being, I would like to pass the stash on this spring delivery. So I'm gonna give you the spring delivery with the r, &R linen that I used. It's 32 count linen, it's called Winter Brew, and it is a nine by 13 and a half piece of fabric which is what this one is. So you can, I'll take it out of the cute snap. It's a perfect size for this piece. It fits beautifully. And I did start it in the center, which is something I don't usually do unless I have to. Um, I'm finding that I'm having to do that a lot on these ornaments that I'm, you know, working on. Um, my monthly series from Hands On Design and the 12 Days of Christmas tend to lend their self better to starting in the middle simply because they don't have a good corner. You know, they are they have a rounded design or something like that. So I, I wanted to take this out of the key snap. So this gives you an idea. I have not pressed this yet. I just finished it. But this t shows you how big the piece of fabric is that I'm giving. So it would be plenty big uh, enough for this piece if you would uh, want to do it on this color. And I do think it's beautiful on this color. Um, so you'll get the pattern and the linen to go with it. Um, so in order to be considered for that, all you have to do in the comments below is to say that you would like to stitch spring delivery. Um, and then I'll know that you want to be included in the drawing. And I am going to um, probably not draw for this until the end of May because we have so many videos coming out for Mania that it may take you a while to get through them all. You have a lot more to watch right now. And so I, I certainly don't think that people will be watching mine first. So I wanna give you time to get through the whole group, you know, of Mania videos and still have a chance at it. But this is a gorgeous, uh, Pattern. It is by Brenda Gervais, um, you know, with thy needle and thread um, is who, what she designs under. That's her design company name. Um, but this is the um, first Brenda Gervais that I've ever stitched. And I thought it was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Let's talk about the fabric for a moment. I don't know if you've noticed, but my first mania start was on um, Rubius Linen. My second Mania start was on r, r Linen. I'm an even weave girl. <laughs> I don't know why I picked linen for these two. Probably because I had a, I ordered the red on purpose for that piece. And I think I got linen because the dye was darker and it was the color I wanted. Even weave doesn't dye as dark as linen. And so I think I got that so that the color would be closer to what the picture was showing. In this case, I have had this linen in my stash for so long. I bought it at Dixie Darling five or 10 years ago. I'm serious, it's been a long time. And I've been just holding on to it till I had the right thing. So anyway, um, I think it was perfect for this pattern. It looks really great with the threads. And um, I think you'll enjoy stitching it. I know I have. Um, and now I'm in a quandary. 
I have the fourth and the fifth open in my mania schedule because my next start wasn't slated until the sixth. Now I have some people that are gonna be starting things with me, so I can't move or I don't want to move those pieces off of those days. But actually, my next start is June, the year of celebrations, another hands-on design. <laughs> I'm, I'm really into Kathy uh, Hoverman's designs right now. <laughs> So, uh, depending on how much time I have to stitch uh, tomorrow, I may go ahead and start that because there is a stitch-a-thon going on this weekend. I probably won't stitch on it tonight, um, but I could start on it tomorrow and I could count all those stitches for both magical stitches for the next Quidditch uh, match. I think we start a new match on the 4th. And I could also uh, submit them for the Stitch-a-thon because that's two different groups. So it's okay if I count them for both of them. So I can either do that or I could pick up one of my whips and just get two days in on a whip. So I'll see. I'll see what I decide today. I'll look at my schedule and I'll see how many of my items that are on that list um, have people stitching with me and I won't, I'll protect those dates because they've already planned on starting that with me on those dates. And I can move some other things around if I want to because, you know, I would dearly love to get some more finishes in Mania. That'd be kind of unique, wouldn't it? Well, I hope you're having as much fun as I am and uh, I hope that if you're interested in spring delivery, that you'll put that in the comments below that you'd like to stitch it. And in the meantime, I will uh, get this uh, put together and I'll go ahead and upload it so you can see it this week and that'll give you time to um, register uh, your desire about whether you'd like to stitch this pattern or not. The last thing I'm gonna put on the video today is a beautiful walk in the park. My husband and I um, go walking uh, in a park in our local community uh, quite often. Uh, as soon as the weather is pretty, uh, we try to go outside to walk. And um, today we got over there early in the morning before it got warm because it's starting to get warm here. And my husband was trying to learn how to use his gimbal. Got a gimbal for Christmas and he wants it for his hikes on the Appalachian Trail and for his uh, once in a lifetime trip that he and my son are taking for their birthdays this year. They're going to Japan. And he's trying to learn how to use it before he goes. So uh, he offered to go with me this morning on my walk so that he could film the park. It has some beautiful footage. It has um, lovely things to walk across and through and around to keep you interested. And it's just a beautiful oasis. You can hear the birds singing. And and I think, um, I didn't put music to it. We started to, in fact, we put music to it. And then I had my husband take it back off because you can't hear the birds and you can't hear the beautiful sound of the brook, you know, and I'd rather you hear that. It's not that long, but the reason I'm putting it on, not only just to show you something about my area that we've moved to and we're enjoying, um, but I think Stitch Mania can, uh, as its name implies, <laughs> be manic and stressful and hurried. Uh, you may feel pressure to get things done, and so the walk this morning was very restful and relaxing and I wanted to share it with you so that during mania, when you do get rushed or hurried or feel a little frayed, uh, come back to this video and fast forward to the park and um, I'll put a, a little, um, you know, a little tile in front of it that says, you know, walk in the park or something so you know you can go there real quick. and and you can go through it again. So I hope you'll go through it more than once if you need to. I hope you'll enjoy it. And uh, let me know if, if if you do enjoy it or not, because if you don't like it, I don't want to put it back on, you know, anything like that on here again. But 
uh, I thought I would share it with you. I'll see you guys in a day or two. Happy stitching. Here we are at Wilshire Park. We're gonna take you all off with us today. I hope that this will give you a respite from your stitch mania. And when you need a break, you can watch this and enjoy the beautiful scenery outdoors.